Hey, you guys. Today I'm here to do Bryce and Family Values Season 4, um, Episode 3. Um, I'm not going to talk about everything once again because I'm already late putting up the video. So I'm quite sure y'all saw other YouTubers putting up their reviews. But I do... Um, it started off where all the sisters was meeting up and mom, Mama E, all of them meeting up. Still kind of feeling some kind of way about the retreat um, that happened with Dr. Sherry. Mama E asked, you know, how did everything go? And Tony and the other sisters like kind of sugarcoated and was like, everything went great. And we kind of learned things. So, you know, Tamar gave a side. I like, but everybody ain't learned nothing. But, um, they just kept saying, well, Tamar, you wasn't there. And Tamar was like, you know, basically her whole thing with the whole situation is we haven't worked anything out. We haven't figured shit out. And I'm with her. We ain't figured nothing out. Not y'all. Not the people that's watching it. Nothing has kind of been resolved. Um... Yeah, you guys learned some stuff, but the beef wasn't with y'all. The all y'all beef was with Tamar. So that's probably why she feels in some kind of way. Um she feel like she have told everybody sorry and they don't want to tell her sorry. So Tony was over there like, well, you're not a child and all that, but I'm over there like, that's still your sister. You acknowledge her feelings. She just broke it down to you guys that she said sorry to y'all. And all she's expecting is a sorry back. Some people can't get over it as quickly as you guys can. And apparently Tamar is that person. Tamar apparently is sensitive. Where her feelings get hurt by her sisters quick. I don't know. You know, she can dish it, but I don't think Tamar can take it too bad. Um, so Mom E tells the sisters that they need to go to Jamaica with um, Tony since she has a show out there. They need to go out there and, you know, just bond as sisters. No bickering bullshit. Just get along and have fun. So, you know, Tamar go back and tell Vince that Vince is like, you know, that is a good idea. But what about this album? And I think Mom probably asked. I don't know. But I know they end up talking about the album or whatever. And, um... They can't come to a damn agreement because we'll get to that. Well, they end up going to Jamaica. Uh, Vince and the baby end up going with Tamar, and she ended up taking Mom E. So they had their own little villa, you know. And I and I get where Tamar coming from. She got a brand new baby. Everybody else's baby is a little older, so she has to take her baby. And hey, she got to take her husband. That's the money, man. She got to take him to it. Shit, I ain't got to spend my money and we can spend my husband's money. I can't be mad at her for that. And he really wasn't on their 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 uh, excursion, so he didn't bother me at all. Um, But anyway, they end up having like this lunch or whatever, and they basically talk about the album once again. But like Tamar said, everything is not resolved. It was bickering going back and forth. I do remember them talking about the album and Tamar wants them to figure out what kind of producer they want to work with. Tony wants everybody to write one song as a group and write one song as them singing solo. Tamar and I were with that. I didn't see nothing wrong with that idea. I didn't see nothing wrong with either one of you guys' ideas. I think you guys could have used both ideas. Um, they started talking about Tracy's single, and Tamar made it, you know, like, I think you should come out with a single before your album, and she was like, I am, and she was like, I've never heard anything about the album, or I never, nobody ever talked to me about anything about the album, so I was just trying to give constructive criticism, but Tracy still put all these feelings some kind of way towards Tamar in the shows, so, um, she was like, she can't tell me about my business. But I'm like, I didn't see nothing wrong with what Tamar was trying to say. Maybe they didn't perceive it well because it's still animosity. But I didn't see nothing wrong with what she was telling her sister. 
Um, what else did they do this trip? But anyway, uh, hopefully they get together with the album. Tony end up performing in Jamaica. Um, she had some dude on the stage. He he was nothing on the cell with his girlfriend in the audience. It was weird. It just reminded me of Janet Jackson when she fought her way up with a government uh, road tour. These men don't know how to act. They don't give a fuck if they grew up in right there. But hey, that was Tony Braxton. They had a probably once in a lifetime situation. Hey. Um, but yeah, she did good on her performance. She was calling her sisters out. And nobody could find Tracy. For some odd reason, through the whole t- Tony performance, all of them going to the venue, nobody could find Tracy. Tracy was like, I couldn't find no drink or no weed, so that's what the fuck I was doing. But she ended up showing up right when it was time for Trina to perform her party or go home song. And Tracy and um, Tawana ended up being her back, backup singer, do our pop chicks, whatever. So they had a nice time. Everything has been going nice, you know, besides the bigger in the beginning of this whole trip. Has been going nice and this is what I like to see out the sisters just having a nice ass time. So they go back and um have drinks after the concert. Everybody wanna go to sleep except them. Um except Tamar. Tamar likes to check out me on the final tour. That's fine, bitches come on. She wanna drink. They you know still having a nice ass time. Regardless of they tired, they did what they sister wanted to do and they drinking and they had a nice time. I think it was the next day they end up on parasailing. They had fun. Tawanda was throwing a little shade at Tamar, but it was okay. She still did it. They were still team players. They still did it. Um, Tracy was messing with Trina Thomas. She was having to pee. Either Rico and um, what's his name? Terrell didn't do parasailing, or they didn't show them because I was like, why the fuck are they there? We're not going to see them parasailing. But hey, like I said, everybody had fun. Then afterward, they ended up having dinner with Mama E and everybody at the uh, Herbert Villa or whatever, the baby and stuff like that. They, you know, just had a really nice time. Mama E ended up leaving out. And I had noticed that Tony, when they went to lunch earlier and when they first got to Jamaica, Tony was talking about the Puff Puff Pass, but I don't know. Two and two wasn't coming together. I thought she maybe said a hookah. We're talking about a hookah. I don't know. But two and two wasn't coming together with weed the Tony Braxton. That shit wasn't adding up. So she said it again after Mama E got up off that table. And Tracy come out this big ass joint. And they were talking about. So, you know, they were like, oh my God, where you get it from? To one of the I was shocked. That's Tracy. So they all started getting high. And then Tamar was paranoid talking about this is coming. So Tawanda put the damn joint out in the water. I was like, this is going to kill the weed. But then um, they end up tra- <laughs> Tony asked was so funny. Hi. Oh my God. That shit was hilarious. She sat at that table. Tell me, How long have I been sitting here? I wrote. I was like, you're the one they make commercials about talking about weed affects your brain cells. Tony, I don't know. But that shit was funny. Tell me why I was like, does this smell like sucking with her? This why I don't like smoking with her. Hell to nah, her and Trina, they be tripping. Hell nah. But you can see that they get hot. And I'm like so fucking shocked. I am so shocked that all these sisters get hot. I don't know why. Well, Tracy, I don't know. But the rest of them, I was shocked as fuck. So then they end up going like a little bit away from the middle of the room. And they start smoking again. <laughs> and I was having a little session again. And I'm like, oh my God. Tamar looks like she didn't want to smoke on camera, but they end up peer pressure motherfucking because she ended up doing it. But oh my God, all these sisters was high and I got my fucking life. Made me see them in a whole different way, but I got my fucking life to see Tony especially high. Running around the grass. All that shit. Oh my God, y'all don't even know. If I miss some stuff on this review, I apologize. But like I said, it's been some days, so y'all have seen other reviewers. But I'm telling y'all, this <laughs> this was a really good episode.
So this is what I like to see with the sisters. They get along, they have fun, and all that good stuff. That's all I have for the Facts and Family Values Season 4, Episode 3. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, Xbox Live. If this is your first time watching my videos and my audio is off, it's because I'm working with a different camera because my other camera's messed up. But you guys, um, that's if y'all start seeing this camera, that's the reason why and I'm trying to get that fixed. Hopefully it'll be fixed by next week. Um, yeah. Yeah, keep on supporting me with these videos, and I'll keep them coming regardless of what camera it is. Make sure you check out Ashley Miller, um, because she also do rights and family values. And we can agree to disagree, but just don't be disrespectful. All right, you guys, peace out.